Hi everyone, so I am finally ready to give you guys a review on my very beautiful My World Tour bum bag. Um, I have this bag for about almost a month now um, and it has just been a joy. I, she's so lovely and so pretty and this is the My World Tour version of the bum bag. Um, with this sticker right here. It's the prettiest sticker um, that I picked. It's pink, which I absolutely love, and I wanted it to be minimalistic, so I only got one sticker on the back, and I think the pink really goes well with this bag, and it's been really great. I've used it mostly on the weekends. I don't really go anywhere. Um, on the weekdays so it's had I've worn it maybe four or five times so there's not gonna be really any wear on the bag um, so that will be an update for me I'll maybe do like a one-year update later on but as far as how the bag looks it's perfect except for the strap um, the leather that this strap I mean it's a very um I don't know it's like a matte leather but with a little bit of sheen to it and it's kind of stiff and because it's kind of stiff it's very easy to get creasing so right here near the buckle can you guys see that creasing there um I mean, it took me a while to kind of adjust the bag to exactly where I like it. So I like to wear this a little bit more um, like a crossbody. So not right across the chest, but a little bit below. And I had to adjust it a few times. And every time I adjusted it, or every time I moved this buckle, it would crease the leather. So I'm not going to move it anymore. I think I have it to where it's comfortable for me. So everywhere else looks pretty good. So yeah, it was only that part right there where I had to move this buckle that there's creasing on it. And then another part I was worried about is these corners right here. I was worried that the canvas might crack. If you look really closely right there, there's a crease there where it folds, but there's no cracking. But I'm afraid that it might, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Um, the canvas is pretty soft. It's not dry or anything. So I'm hoping that it won't crack. Same thing on the other side. There's nothing there, but so when I store the bag, when I'm not wearing it, I make sure that I leave it open like this and I'm not closing it. And the way that I'm wearing it across my body, it also lays flat like this. So I really try not to bend these corners as much as I can. But that's the only thing that I'm really worried about on this bag. Um, another thing is this part right here, I can't tell if it bothers me really. Um, I mean, if I kind of pull it out like this, it looks okay. But when it's just resting, this part, this lip part kind of hangs over like that. Um, but it's really not a big deal. I think it's just a stitching thing but it's not like a defect or anything. It's just the way it's stitched. It's not affecting this part is the only thing that um, I would be worried about if it affects this lip right here and it makes it pop open by itself, but it doesn't. So that's the only thing. Okay. So I've been getting a lot of, um, I notice that when I wear this bag, people look at the bag and it makes me happy. I guess not everyone has this bag, at least where I live and, um, not in the black leather. So 
it's pretty unique and I like the red lining. It makes it so much easier to look inside. And I have a few things in here. As always, I have my pochette, mini pochette in Damien Ben. So that fits perfectly in here, no problems. And then I have my key clay in there with my keys. I have my mask, very important. Hair tie as always. And then I have a lip gloss. And that's about it. It's pretty roomy, very spacious inside. Plenty of room. Um, the only thing is, I mean, I thought about getting an organizer for this bag, but I really don't like a structured look um, to my bag, so I kind of like having it look soft like this. Um, like these things just kind of roll around in there, but I mean, it's not too bad. So, another thing is these... Um, zippers when I walk they kind of cling like together and it's a little loud um just another observation it's not too bad either in the back zipper I have my card holder um this is a really old Kate Spade one I've been actually eyeing the reverse monogram card holder so that's on my list next, hopefully for Christmas, we'll see. And then my phone fits back here. So in the back, I really like the idea of having a card holder in the back because it's just easy for me when I'm out shopping to get without having to like fold this lip up and like, you know, root around for my things. And a card holder is perfect for this back pocket because it's flat. And it fits, you know, just like that. I think anything um, thicker, like if I had my cards in here, it's just a little bit too bulky. I mean, it'll work if you don't have a lot of stuff in this front compartment. But for me, I would just much rather have just a card holder like that back here. So... Close everything back up. Zipper is pretty good. It could be smoother, but um, I again, I don't really mind. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, all in all, I love this bag, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. It's really like my favorite bag. Um, second favorite, actually. I think my favorite bag is my Palm Springs Mini, but. This is a close second, very comfortable to wear. It goes with practically all of my outfits. Um, it's the only thing is I wish this the strap was a little bit softer, um, but I'm thinking with time, um, the more I wear it, the softer it will be. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.